on Sunday. Rajon Rondo sustained a fracture in his right thumb and will undergo surgery to repair the injury. Rondo is expected to return to basketball activities in six to eight weeks before practice. Frank Vogel and the team talked about the loss of Rondo. Obviously, uh, it, more will be needed in that regard from Alex and from Quinn Cook. Um, we have the ability to, to use our bigs, like you said, with, uh, with Kuz and, uh, and in particular AD, and having the ability to bring it up and handle and initiate offense. Um, but also like the prospects of seeing what Deion Waiters can do, you know, and uh, we've got two really good basketball players that we added uh, late in our season that do different things, uh, you know, but equally as important. And um, with JR being able to, to shoot from the perimeter uh, and the catch and catch and shoot, being a big time catch and shoot player, and Deion with the ability to, to make plays off the bounce, and, you know, losing Rondo uh, puts more of a need on uh, Deion's skill set. So, uh, you know, I look forward to, to seeing what he can do more um, as we get into games. But all of, the, all of those guys will pick up the slack. Well, it's never a good sign when some of your, your players get hurt, some of your guys, especially one of your leaders. Um, he's definitely one of our four generals um, on and off the court, um, which I think is a, it'll be, it's, a, it's a blow, but not as big of a blow because of how much he, he helps us on the sideline and coaching-wise. I know he'll still be there. He'll still help coach, help teach. Uh, but it would be great to have him on the floor, uh, you know, playmaking, making plays, being that floor general. And actually, you know, when he's aggressive, making some, some good plays for us and, and helping our team. Because when he scores 10 plus points, you guys know the, the statistics, and you know the record for us. Uh, so we need him, you know, to come off the bench and give us a little spark. But I know he'll be on that sideline for us, coaching, coaching his ass off and uh, teaching us and letting our young guys know. And also Brian and myself and AD, what we see, what he sees, and what adjustments we need to make. Rondo hurts the hand again. It kind of seems like a, a reoccurring theme. That's his third time uh, as a Laker. Uh, how bad does this hurt the Lakers' breast? Well, it's bad, especially when you take into context the bigger picture. Avery Bradley already out. He will not be joining the team at all because of his personal decision to stay home and, and not enter the bubble. So now you're down two guys, you know, one starter and one heavy rotation guy. You know, I feel bad for Rondo. He, he initially fractured the same hand, uh, not quite the same injury. This is specifically a thumb. But he hurt that hand a little after joining the Lakers in 2018. Then he had another hand problem not long after coming back from that one. And here he is again, a thumb injury this time. I mean, you just feel for the guy. And the Lakers, you know, that, that depth is now becoming an issue at the guard position. Yeah, huge bummer for the Lakers. Um, Rondo uh, was probably in great shape after the four and a half months, yeah. as you can tell. And the Lakers expect him back uh, for the playoffs at some point. Seven weeks would be start of around the second round. Bill, how important is he? during the playoffs? I think he's important, uh, you know, really on a lot of levels. I mean, this is not only a guy who won a championship as a starting point guard in Boston, has been through a lot of battles, has the trust of LeBron James. Frank Vogel has talked about the value of having him out there as another coach on the floor. Listen, Rondo is a flawed player. A lot of fans get frustrated with him. Um, he's not obviously the Rajon Rondo of those Boston years, but we've seen him uh, when he is on and when he is contributing to the Lakers, he is a huge difference maker. 